I haven't yet talked about what this plus C means in both of our formulas, so let me talk about that now. C stands for constant, by the way. Um, and let me show you why we need that in both equations whenever we're doing an indefinite integral. Not with definite integrals, we'll do that in a bit. Um, but whenever you do an indefinite integral, you always have to add plus C. Um, let me show you why. If I took the derivative of this thing, just using the power rule, the derivative of 3x cubed, I think that's going to be 9x squared, and the derivative of 9 is 0, so I won't write that. Okay, that was easy. Um, let me now, I'll write a comma there to separate things, let me integrate 9x squared. So I'll write my integral sign, I'll write what I want to integrate, that's called the integrand, and then d, whatever variable I'm using, in this case x. Okay, uh, the power of x is not negative 1, that means I'm just doing regular anti-differentiation, add 1 to the power, and divide by the new power. So 2 plus 1 is 3, and then I divide by the new power. Um, it looks like I'm running out of room. Uh, 9 over 3 is just 3, so this will become 3x cubed. Great, that makes sense. But wait a second, I took the derivative of something, and then I took the antiderivative of something, but I didn't get what I started with. Wouldn't that make sense if I took the derivative and then I undid it, I should probably get back where I started. But I didn't. And that's why we always add this plus c when we're doing indefinite integrals, because this c stands for any constant that could have gone to zero when you took the derivative. 